waters of Pearl Harbor, a striking white monument seems to ride at anchor. It is a memorial to a fallen crew, to a sunken ship, a symbol of the day that was burned into the American memory. The day was December 7th, 1941, the day of Japan's surprise attack on the U.S. Pacific Fleet here at Pearl Harbor, the day of our entry into World War II. The memorial stands over the sunken hulk of the battleship Arizona. Many of the men who died aboard the Arizona that morning still lie below her decks. The ship on which they served is now their tomb, the memorial, a shrine to their memory. What happened here on that Sunday in December? Why was our fleet attacked? Why were so many killed? The road to war between the United States and Japan began long before Pearl Harbor. The Japanese advance, which is sweeping over great provinces of northern China. In 1931, Japanese army extremists seized China's northern province of Manchuria. And in 1937, Japan launched a full-scale invasion of China. War began in Europe two years later. Japan watched as Nazi armies occupied the Netherlands and France. Soon Britain was under siege. Far away in Southeast Asia, those European powers had colonies rich in natural resources. Now their colonies were ripe for conquest by Japan, the Nazis' ally. But the United States had interests in Asia, too. American lives are endangered as the invaders are about to storm in. We were outraged by Japan's aggression in China. Victims of the calamity of war. We couldn't allow Japan to dominate the Pacific. To deter Japanese aggression, the United States moved her Pacific fleet out to its base at Pearl Harbor in the Hawaiian Islands. West Virginia steamed from New York Harbor to join the rest of the fleet, ordered to the Pacific. The backbone of our fleet had always been our battleships, armored giants named for the states of the Union. To stand on duty in the Pacific, the fleet of the United States. The USS Arizona was one of them. She was launched in 1915, modernized in 1930, ready to cruise and fight in the vast Pacific. She was a small city gone to sea. More than 1,500 men served aboard her. Officers, seamen, cooks, carpenters, gunners, marines, and airmen. She was protected by more than 8,000 tons of armor plating. The Admiral on his flagship as he leads his squadron into action. The mythical battle ordered by the signal. Her 14-inch guns could fire a shell 20 miles. In war games and exercises, she looked invincible. But the Navy was soon to learn that the age of the battleship was at an end. The age of the aircraft carrier had arrived. <laughs> 